Hi everybody, it's good to be with you again. Richard and back with you once more and today we're going to be taking a look at a mechanical mod. One of the most compact and shortest mechanical mod there is around. Even shorter than the Astro mod in its 18350 mode if I can say that. And the reason being because it has a hybrid top cap where your atomizer actually screws direct you know, into the hybrid top cap and making direct contact with your battery. Yes, yes, this is pretty unique, I gotta say. So let's take a look at uh, the infinite clone that I have here of the 4.9 mod by Tarsius. Hey, welcome back guys so just before we go on let me take a quick vape I've got a copper version of the 49 mod here from infinite and it vapes absolutely beautiful I tell you it's a hot hitting mod like I said it's a cloud chasers dream for sure got it here on uh, with a 0.3.4 dual coil and my rayon fibers in there beautiful uh, just before we go on I want to do a shout out to Eugene from altsmo.com here in Malaysia thank you Eugene Eugene is the man who set me up for this uh, review he asked me if I wanted to do a review of the 4.9 um, mod and I said yeah I'd be very happy to so what he did was send me not just one but three of the versions the copper the brass and the stainless steel version of the 4.9 mod. Uh, this is, like I said, from Infinite. All right, this is a clone, and we're gonna get down, zoom in, and get a really close look on all the three uh, mechanical mods. And the best part is, Eugene says, you know what, you can keep the uh, whichever you want. So I chose the uh, copper version. And he says, you can give away the two to your subscribers. So lucky, lucky you, we've got a giveaway. We're gonna be giving away two. Very simple, all I need you to do is go onto the Vapor Friends page on Facebook, like the page, and then subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm gonna pick out two winners, one for the stainless steel uh, and the other one for the brass version, all right? All the very best to you. Okay, so thank you very much, Eugene, once again from altsmo.com. Let's get on with the show right now. The uh, 49 Mods is actually made in the Philippines, and this is to celebrate the unique animal called the Tarsius, once upon a time referred to as the uh, smallest monkey in the world. But it's not that, all right? And they're really small, tiny animals, which is about four to six inches in height, and that's about it really cute big brown eyes which reminds me of you know mogwai and uh actually in actual fact tarsius is a genius of uh, a small primate native to southeast asia so there you go that's uh tarsius for you they've got it on the logo here the back of the uh mechanical mod small little one with those big eyes yeah so that's the company, Tarsius, and the uh, 49 Mechanical Mod. Like I said, just having a closer look here, it's a very simple looking mechanical mod. It doesn't have any fancy engravings or anything like that. It's just got two, um, what do you call, uh, grooves round, all round at the bottom, and you have your firing switch. Firing switch, however, doesn't come with a locking ring, and I always made this mistake of trying to lock it because you've gotten so used to it right so it doesn't have a locking ring and uh, it's got a groove at the side here for you to just put your little pinky finger and it fits perfectly and you just have to just you know uh, push it fire it and it goes off let me have a vape first all right clouds really clouds right at the back you can see the logo and also some engraving that says 49 mod and your serial number all right like i said this your atomizer screws direct to the hybrid top cap and you have to have an atomizer that has a 510 pin long enough to make contact with your battery otherwise it causes a short so i'm going to just zoom in get a really close look 
at the uh, copper version. I'm gonna uh, break it down and show you all the parts and tell you all about it. At the same time, also let you have a closer look of, you know, the mechanical mod, the 4.9 mod that you're gonna be winning, which is the stainless steel version and also the brass version. So stay with us. Up close with our 4.9 mod here from Infinite. This is a clone and I've got all three different versions here lined up side by side and the original from Tarsius, of course, made in the Philippines. And uh, we have from my extreme left the uh, brass version and in the middle we have the stainless steel version and of course the extreme right here you have the uh, copper version and it started to patina at the bottom as you can see here it's turning a lot darker uh, than it is so all three versions here I'm going to bring it up close to you and uh, we're going to start breaking it down I'm going to be using the copper version first to show you and then I'm just going to show you the silver and the brass version and uh, they're basically all the same except for different materials all right and uh, just to also let you know that um, comes in a nice black box from infinite this is the box that it came in, this black box that says Infinite here, Electronic Cigarette Mod. And uh, if you open it up, uh, it's actually got all these little uh, plastic bags to uh, put your mod into and all these little bubble wraps and things like that. And that's all it came in. Uh, there are no spare canthal wire or anything, screwdrivers or anything like that. And this is from Infinite. With the, um, copper version that I have in hand here I'm going to show it to you a little bit closer as you can see like I said it started to patina on uh, the bottom here where my hands would normally um, grab hold of it so this is what happens when you have copper and you have your hands sometimes smelling like copper as well very simple sleek in design you see these two lines that's going all around that's just about it less is more as they say whole entire mechanical mod doesn't have a spring or anything like that for the firing switch but it just works using um, magnets all right so starting from the top I'm gonna break it down and uh, you can see here just before I start breaking it down you can see the um, two vent holes here that you have for your battery venting and uh, also the center portion is just a 510 threading here uh, it doesn't have a pin inside or anything like that so like I said um, your atomizer actually screws in and uh, makes direct contact with the battery if you're a newbie I would not recommend you to do this uh, due to the complications of this mechanical mod and uh, this is definitely for advanced users all right so we're going to take out the uh, hybrid top cap to show you it has a Delrin or uh, o-ring all around uh, to help with prevent short just in case your battery touches this part it'll cause a hard shot and uh, you have your two vent holes here for battery venting and the threading the threading is absolutely buttery smooth if there's something I can say about it and that's the top cap the hybrid top cap to be exact and uh, if you've got uh, an atomizer just make sure your atomizer has got a 510 pin that is long enough to go past the Delrin piece and make direct contact with your battery. I'm just going to screw it in and show you what I mean. All right, that is your 510 pin here from your atomizer. So it should have enough space, as you can see as I bring it closer here for you. It should have enough space that comes out of the Delrin piece. Anything shorter, it will cause a short. So not all atomizers will fit into this. You have to check it very carefully before you put in your atomizer. All right, so that's your hybrid top cap. This is your tube. This is a copper tube. Your threading is absolutely smooth. Yeah, and in there, you have your firing switch. This is how your firing switch is. You take this apart. This has got a magnet in it. There's this Delrin piece here, which has got magnets on both sides, and uh, it's supposed to be like this. And this has to be opposing, right? So what you will do is get your battery 
put this, stick this to your battery, okay? This is a spare magnet. In case you want to use it, you can use that as well. It will give you either a shorter throw or a longer throw. I like mine with a bit of a throw, a longer throw. So I've taken one magnet out, take this and put it back in there. All right, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. You've got to remove the tube, some of the tube, all right. Okay, just let me remove it for you and show you. It's easy if you remove the tubes and uh, your fingers can reach in there. It's not gonna drop, so you need to just adjust it a little bit. All right. All right, so once it sits perfectly at the bottom here, okay, like this, now what you wanna do is put back your tubes, all right? If you're using an 18650 uh, battery tube. Like I said, the th threads to this mechanical mod, it's seamless. You see? You see this? You have the seam here. And when I just close it up, screws it in, disappear. Now you see, now you don't. Complete seamless, okay? It's opposing. Then you have your hybrid top cap and you just screw it back in again and that's your mechanical mod. This is the firing switch. I know a lot of you have complained that this is crunchy but again yes it is but it depends on how you hit the firing switch. All right if you were to use your middle finger I would advise you to put it directly underneath where the Tarsius logo is and just press on it. Okay. I have no issues with this. It goes in and out. It doesn't have a locking ring. Because it is recessed, it will stand upright without any issues. All right. I'll remove this again and try it in its shortest mode. Okay. Buttery smooth. Yeah. And it works. It's really, really short. Let's just put it down and I will compare this to one of the shortest uh, mechanical mod, which is the Astro mod that I have in its 18350 mode. This is the Astro mod. Side by side, this is how short it is. It's even shorter than the Astro mod. All yeah. right, something I forgot to show you as well, if you look behind at the uh, logo there is a hole here a vent hole which looks like a vent hole i don't think this is um, a vent hole at all but it is to help you push that magnet out if you would like to you know change uh what it called get the magnet out of the uh, firing switch you can use a pin or anything like that and just push it out so the magnet falls off i think that's the only function for it but i don't think this is a vent hole you have your vent holes here on your hybrid top cap your two vent holes yeah and that's about it so you have it back here and that's your 49 copper mod and now we're going to take a look at the stainless steel version of the 49 mod from infinite and there you go all around same also just two lines all around and the top It is brass, made of brass, and bottom, your firing switch is also made of brass with the Tarsius logo, All right? It is absolutely seamless. Now you see it, see the seams? Buttery smooth, buttery, buttery smooth. I'm gonna bring it closer, turn it. Seamless. Screw it back on, seamless. So there you go, this is the stainless steel version. Very nice. And this is the brass version. The entire thing is made of solid brass. Yep, your hybrid top cap, also in brass. And your firing switch, also in brass. Yep, it's absolutely beautiful. 
the brass, the silver and the copper version. All right, welcome back guys. Uh, we just saw the close up of the uh, copper version of the 49 mod and that's a clone from Infinite. Of course, it is beautiful, I tell you. Let's see. Like I said, if you're a cloud chaser, this is your dream mechanical mod. Well, 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 all right. <laughs> this is the Infinite Clone version. And as I mentioned early on, I have this stainless steel and the brass version. Yeah, this is how it looks. I'm sure you've seen it in the close-ups and um, well, it's not been used. I'm going to just put it back into the box and send it back to altsmo.com. Eugene is going to help me, um, what do you call, pack it and send it out to our winners. Once again, just to remind you, if you want to have your chance to, you know, win these mechanical mods, all you got to do is just log on to uh, my Facebook page where it's Vapor Friends and I'll leave a link below, like I mentioned. It's actually facebook.com slash vaporfriends and like the page. And at the same time, subscribe to this channel. If you don't subscribe, it's fine with me. There are lots and lots of other vape uh, reviewers or channels you can actually learn from. So good luck to you guys. And until I talk to you again, guys, vape safe and have a great day. Bye for now.